how do you determine whether your zany goal is you know too ridiculous say to be achieved how do you stretch yourself push yourself but at the same time have that element of of realism in there um with the zany goals there's no realism right (laughs) yourself you're allowing yourself to go as bonkers and as crazy as possible i think we're too self-limiting especially Mm -hmm. times that we're in so we have to eliminate those self-limiting beliefs if i told you for example that i was going to hang upside down outside the rt building with uh, a straight jacket around me 150 foot in the air with my head wrapped in cling film so i couldn't see or breathe you'd say well that sounds impossible well yeah and, and when i come up with these stunts i have no idea how i'm going to do them see that's what people don't understand about the magical mm-hmm. thinking of a magician when we come up with things we train ourselves to not limit ourselves we don't know how we're going to do all these things. People wonder the process. The process is I come up with the idea first and then I backtrack down to a, a reasonable method. So for me, like one of my zany goals and dreams, and I keep saying this so I know it's going to happen. And, and I feel a bit silly saying it because I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm actually going to have to do this someday now. Uh, so it's climbing Kilimanjaro in my underpants with the Iceman, Wim Hof. <laughs> so that sounds like crazy probably to a lot of your listeners. And it is crazy and it's supposed to be crazy, but your crazy goals and dreams should be aspirational. Mm-hmm. Um, so I talk about my goals as targets. So I don't have I don't have goals written up on my vision board there. I've got targets. See, goals very often can become just an aspirational thing that you're looking towards. Whereas a target it has a, a specific measurable distance that like if you think of it better like an arrow uh, reaching a, a target, it's got a a measure distance that that arrow needs to go whereas a goal sometimes even if you put a timeline on it can sometimes in your head just become as i said aspirational so i see everything as targets and i write them down as targets and i give myself that measurable uh distance to go that measurable time to go and then obviously you know figure out the actions required to move towards those targets